A certain challenging time now for school districts and universities across western New York, and that includes Buffalo State University. In a one-on-one -on -one interview with our Claudine Ewing, the interim president there outlined her plans to make sure the university stays financially stable. Dr. Benina Duran is on board to lead Buffalo State University through 2026. She has a huge task, as she outlined before hundreds, about financial sustainability, increasing and stabilizing enrollment. They are key components to dealing with a $16.5 million structural deficit. Are we going to see a reduction in programs? Are we going to see fewer staff members here? I can say we're going to see reorganization. Um, a lot of it depends not only on the workforce lever, but also on the enrollment lever. But you did talk about some programs going away. Right now we're looking at a total of 37 by the end of 2025, and they're not all programs. Some of them are minors, for, so you might, won't be able to get a minor in a certain program. And some of them are what we call concentrations. Uh, and that happens a lot in our Bachelor of Fine Arts. Areas where there is declining or zero enrollment will be eliminated. If you're getting rid of all of these faculty members, you're not actually hurting them because they're going to be able to go out and find another job for the most part. What you're doing is hurting the students and hurting the community because those faculty members won't be here. Is the state of Buffalo State one of survival? Absolutely one of survival one of forward thinking, one of aggressive retooling. There is a 12-month campus-wide hiring freeze and a new voluntary separation program. On your side, Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Claudine. This is just part of Claudine's one-on-one -on -one interview with the interim president. You can see her full interview. It's on our website right now at WGRZ.com.